Welcome back to David Lynch's Fire Watch With Me. So we need to go to Cottonwood Creek. Delilah has some sort of a plan. I'm guessing a plan for secure communication or something, or perhaps they're going to meet us there. I don't know. Maybe they're going to meet us there. I hope so. Before I head out, though, I want to take a look around because actually some stuff has changed. The more I look around, the more I realize there's some things that are different here. As I've, like, settled down here and gotten more food and stuff. Well, this is new. <laughs> Drying my laundry. Windows open. Um, I think the big thing I noticed is different food. So before it was, like, pretty much just beans. And there's, <laughs> there's still a lot of beans. But uh, there's also corn and... What is that? I think it's, like... Ketchup, but I don't know what that actually is, though. Tomato something. Almost looks like it says tomato basil. I don't know what that is exactly. Looks sort of like ketchup, maybe. <laughs> I love all these off brands. Instead of Smuckers, it's Muckers, low sugar. Muckers, Biff instead of Jif. <laughs> Rainier's classic roast. Mountain grown. I think that's mostly it. Oh, the photo with Julia. Why does it keep... Why does it, I was going to say, why does it keep getting, like, falling over? But it's not falling over, is it? I think it's Henry just putting it uh, face down. So that he doesn't have to think about it. Where is that D&D &D thing, by the way? Because before I, like, put it over here. Here it is. Yeah, Magic Circle, a.k.a. the Medicine Wheel. Death Mountain, Doom Canyon. And look! Up there. Around, uh, what is it called? Wapiti, Wapiti Station? They marked it as Iron Fortress. So they knew about it then, huh? They must have. Alright, let's head out. put this on though. Korean veteran. Or Korea veteran. <laughs> Actually, no, let's not put that on. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Is this smoke that I see all around here, or is this like fog or dust or something? Seems like smoke. Alright, so we head kind of south, I believe, and we should get to Ruby Lake, or Ruby River, rather. And then from there, we can head to Cottonwood Lake. Yeah, this definitely looks like smoke. Okay, I guess we'll jump this time. Keep those shoes dry. Sorta. Of. So, Cottonwood Lake should be over here and then to the west. Yeah, over this way. Has that rustling sound again? Extra creepy now. Delilah? Um, a ski? Like taking a picture of this odd scene. 
Okay, I'm supposed to get here and then call them, right? Kind of want to explore around here, though. Are there any caches here? Yeah, cache 308. Over there. Right in between the Ruby River and Cottonwood Creek. Hmm. But I'm supposed to call them. Well, I guess I need to go further ahead, huh? Probably. Let's go check out that cache. Yep, here we go. Before I call, though, I want to look at the cache. Wait, what? It's not one, two, three, four? Huh. How do I uh, exit out of this? I don't want to do this. <laughs> Escape, there we go. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? I just checked it and the code doesn't work. It's because I changed it. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. New radio. Nice. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Three blind rats. When FBI informants need protection, you call the police. When those informants wind up dead, you call Neil Black. In a rain-soaked return to South City... Anything else on here? It's pretty smeared up and dirty. Just one stray match. So what did that add? Oh. Oh, I guess there's a walkway up through the medicine wheel. Cool. Okay. Looks like there could be something that way. Wait, which way am I looking? West. Yeah. Across the river. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hike around, see if I can find anything around here, but also in particular, I think on my way over to the gate in Wapiti Station, I want to take a look at all these places that I can now open with my axe. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. 
What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Yeah, that's not good. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay, we should be... Yeah, we're super close to this little tangled vine thing here that we should be able to open. Just a little bit more north. Did I leave this open? Is it right here? Yeah, here it is. Alright, where does this go? Like, I wonder if all these paths are going to open up completely new areas, or just maybe like shortcuts in between? I feel like I've been here before. Oh, this leads to the jump across Thunder Canyon. Yeah, okay, so that's just a shortcut. Um, alright. There's also one over here, which looks like it would just be a shortcut. But you never know. So there's one there. There's... Oh, there's two over here. So there's three more. Here we go. Here's the next blocked trail. Over here. Around kind of one of the entrances to Thunder Canyon. Near Jonesy Lake. So pretty. Setting sun. Uh, yeah, looks like it's just a really, really, really tiny shortcut. The heck? Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. How about you don't do that again? Does Delilah not think the new radio is secure? Well, I guess it never hurts. But yeah, it sounded like it could have been an elk. <laughs> Definitely an animal. Okay, I'm almost to the first one here. Should be right up here. What's this? Oh. Rusty old seat. Someone used to hang out here. It's a pretty little spot. <laughs> Tons of fifes. London Dry Gin. Old note. My cassette tape. What does that say on it? Boss tracks number one. Dave? Hey you. Debbie told me about what happened at Cassie's and I just wanted to say I'm real sorry. That's just, I don't know, fucked. Totally fucked. Wish I would have been there. Would have kicked the living shit out of every one of those ignorant hicks. Debbie was trying to explain to me why they'd kick your ass so good, and I just don't get it. Fucked.
What happened? Wait, can I scroll down? Oh. Here we go. Anyway, man, I don't really know how to get a hold of you. I sent a note, note up to the hospital in Billings, but I'm not even sure you're still there. Deb and I are talking about heading up to Alaska in the spring, so I'm not sure I'll be out here again, so... Yeah, maybe you'll get this note in May. Also, dude, found this old song in a shitter near Hawk's Rest. <laughs> Appropriate place for it, really. And thought I'd give it the wrong treatment for you. Dig it. Get better, amigo. Find me if you're ever in Sitka. Do you know whatever happened to Dave the Ranger? No, why? I was just wondering about him and the other guy, Ron. Last I heard, Ron was in Alaska. His ex-girlfriend, Debbie, is the one who works the Forest Service desk in Cody. Well, Dave got beat up pretty bad in a bar fight last year. Huh, I never heard about that. I've heard people give him a hard time because he, uh, isn't exactly a ladies' man. Yeah, I figured the note mentioned ignorant Hicks beating him up. Figured he's probably gay. That's just bullshit. I agree. People are shitty. So, I found notes between these two rangers, Ron and Dave. You know them? Yeah. What do they have to do with anything? Well, nothing, I don't think. I just found a cassette tape one of them left for the other. Do you think it could be anything like the tape you have of us? No, I think it's just music. Well, if it's the new Millie Vanilli, it could be just as incriminating. Anything like the tape you have of us? What? What tape of us? What's Delilah talking about? Hmm. Alright, well, I've got one more place to hit up. Okay, looks like we're at the next point, and judging by the little red marks on the map, it looks like it's just a shortcut that cuts across right here. But let's check it out anyway. Yep, that's all it is. Okay, well before I head to the fence that I'm trying to get through at WPD Station, I'm curious, what would happen if I tried to go back to, like, trying to take that, uh, what's it called, the, the cart thing across the gap to get to the thoroughfare lookout? Well, maybe I should come over there, given what's going on. The car is really only for emergencies, Henry. All right, okay. This won't become an emergency. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, we're almost back to the gate. Time to break in. Little Karen's still there. Why are those stones back? I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <sighs> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Should be extra careful in here. Oh! Ow! <laughs> Freaking bee. Report bee sting. <laughs> uh, maybe later. With bee station personnel, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations violations should be reported immediately. Let's 
getting darker. Oh, I can't report the bee sting anymore. Dang it. It's getting creepy. It's getting dark. I'm entering some strange place that's occupied by a at least one strange person is listening in our conversations and has knocked me out once before and may have killed two teenagers. generator and like a radio tower or something. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Whoa. Even more serious equipment over there. There's still a lot more to this meadow. We're just on the lead up to the meadow, it looks like. Gotta check for secrets. No secrets in the bushes. Whoa. Tent, lots of supplies, and I see light inside. Anybody, anybody in there? No. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. I should get some pictures. sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Definitely some sort of monitoring station. Start at the beginning, take a look around, see what they're up to. Using your Anderson Wavefinder Wave Receiver. Locate any strong signal. Green light equals target straight ahead. Distance light equals strength of signal. Tone equals source of signal discovered. So they can find the source of any radio signal. So basically they have a way of finding us if we're using radios. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit! You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a 
wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. Maybe I can use it to find them. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. It's hard to read the instructions while looking at this, but, uh, yeah, so the red thing beeping just means that it's found a strong signal. Green light equals target straight ahead. So... it's that way. Northeast. And then the sound, I guess it gets stronger, like, faster, higher pitched, the closer you are. Oh, it's replaced my compass. Oh yeah, I guess it is basically a compass, isn't it? It's got a little compass ball thing on it. And tells you the direction you're facing, too. Okay. I wish I could turn it off. Because <laughs> I still need to check out the rest of this place. Sturdy leather belt. Looks heavy. I think I can read this. Equipment kind... Potable water truck? No date or time filled in. A little bit hard to read. It sounds like it's like a order for a truck. A potable water truck. And it's this dates. The newest date is 7 slash 2, which was a little while ago, but this month. Don't know what that's measuring. I don't know. Graphs, science, conversion chart back there. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. I don't want to get out just yet. Place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Like you should get out before they come back. I know, but ah, there's so much stuff. Earthquake monitor, seismograph. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. I know, I know, I know, I know. Subject numbers, beacon frequencies, male, female, social role, frequent departure from Two Forks area. Some sort of sociological study. Avoidance behaviors consult previous data. Unreciprocated desire for copulation conflict with other males. Disproportionate food intake. Measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Yeah, it's like a weird mixture of just doing, I don't know, more <laughs> normal <laughs> sciences, soil studies and seismographs and stuff. But then also other stuff. Unconsented to social experiments and stuff. Delilah. Henry. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. 
Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, it, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario... Uh... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! Look, it's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Yeah, I'm taking as much of this stuff with me as possible, though. I need evidence. Okay. So, Delilah, 43 years old. Been in the program for 10 weeks. Liable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history, never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multiple lovers despite long tie partner, Javier. Susceptibility to manipulation, three. Supervisor sign off, EG. Also 10 weeks, age 39. Guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of self, reliable. Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Wait, full... Full D? Is that the letter D? Full D cooperation? What? Update. Subject may be aware of test. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Or if they've disengaged already, or what? Susceptibility to manipulation and nine. Also signed off with the same supervisor. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. Leave it behind. Yeah, I know, but it's just, you should see it. Okay. Shit. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Yeah, what about them? Um... idea maybe another couple that's out here do you have any ideas it's just you and me Henry yeah I know I really think you should just get out of there okay get home and we'll regroup I'm really pushing it by staying here <laughs> yeah what are they tracking on this board Thunder Canyon hold on um compare this to the map. Thunder Canyon. So there's, well, I can't really point exactly. One over there, one there at the end. I don't see anything obvious. There's no, like, caches there or any particular thing on the map. They've got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me, yeah. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Oh, think it might be lie detector, huh? Okay. Okay, anything else I need? Or, I mean, anything else I can get, because I want everything I can take. Anything else I should get a picture of? Did I get a picture of this stuff? OK, 
Okay, I think that's it. Let's get the hell out of here. So, not detecting any strong signals. Okay. The valley continues on over this way, but looks like it's gated off, so I guess it doesn't matter. something to happen any moment. There's no way my run back is going to be uneventful, right? Oh, there we go. Whoa! Oh, shit! Whoa! Uh, Henry? Mm-hmm. I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. <laughs> 